Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Pokemon Leaf Green at the Giveaway Vans. Last time, we traded with our Fire Red file in order to get a incredibly decent number of Pokemon into our Pokédex here, and it worked out really good for us since we only need 13 more to complete the the basic Pokédex here. Yeah, so I like it. Granted, none of those are actually making it on the team. We just did it for you know the trading. So, whatever. And today, we're finally going to go ahead and take on the Viridian City Gym. Who I managed to spoil the... What is it? The, uh... Identity of his leader. By accident. Let's see if it'll tell us right here. Okay, yeah. So, they want, they want it to be a secret until the end. But I spoiled it. Oops. Tough. Deal with it. Winning trainers. Loser. So, he won. Yo, champ of the making. Even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. One thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. They do, however, they also like fighting-type Pokemon. So, we have two stars here. That is going to be Simon for stealing, and Superstar for taking out the, the, uh, the other trainers. So, if whenever you see a black belt... Put out a Pokemon with Thief, and make sure they don't have an item on it, and you will be able to steal the black belt that their Pokemon are holding. I think you have an option I think you have the ability to get let's see. There are let's see here. One, two, three. Four, five, six Pokemon holding black belts in here. However, if once once you steal the item with Thief, it takes up your hold slot. So unless you have another Pokemon with Thief, you're not going to get more than one per fight. Because there are three trainers. Uh, those three trainers have Pokemon with them. Uh, one has one, one has two, and one has three. But you have to figure out the best way to actually get those belts. Okay, so let's just go ahead and... We're going to end up fighting this cool trainer right here first, I think. Yeah, this guy right here. So, like I said, Superstar will be the superstar of the gym here because it's going to be ground types. Let's see, Rocky might also do pretty good. Yeah, so Superstar still has the amulet coin for the moment. So she'll go ahead and... Or he'll go ahead and it'll go ahead and be the star player for the moment here. Heh, he must be running out of steam by now. Um, okay, apparently I went the wrong way, but whatever. Let's just try to get all these guys out of the way and go from there. Cool Trainer Yuji would like the battle. Uh, cool Trainers typically have a decent variety of Pokemon on their teams. And we'll be finding them in the penultimate dungeon before the final boss, which will be really helpful for experience because they have good levels and type variety usually but here I think they're mostly gonna stick to the ground and occasional rock types but yeah we're gonna get plenty of experience out of this graveler nope we'll stand if I see something that Rocky or Terry can take out reasonably easy I'll switch them in and let them have some fun but for the most part superstar is just gonna solo this gym with the exception of Simon going for the black belts Onyx. No, we can stay in. Yeah, if we had a grass type, they could also do pretty well here, but... Oh, well. If you have something like a Superstar would actually be able to do the whole gym because of the fighting types. You'd be able to surf the ground types and psychic the fighting types. Also, something like... What is it? Uh, Slowbro would also do really well. Uh, execute would do pretty well because ground and psychic. Is there anything that has ground or not ground? Grass is like anything that has grass, water, psychic moves or flying moves will work out pretty well for you here. And there's our first level for superstar, probably the first of several here. So gonna be a bit overpowered by the end of this, but I think we'll manage. Marowak, cool. We haven't seen one of these since Pokey Tower. Goodbye. 
The only problem with this is I might have to go heal up the point power for Superstar at some point. Because I think if we give it, I think if we give it the PP max, it doesn't, it doesn't heal those point powers. Oh, I ran out of gas. Good for you. Yeah, it doesn't heal those point powers, unfortunately. And we've already went through like a couple right there. Okay, Simon, we're gonna switch you out here and. Rah, I'm working myself into a rage. Uh, watch your blood pressure there, sir. Watch your blood pressure. Okay, so this guy has two black belts, one on each of his Pokemon. However, we can only steal one per battle since we only have one Pokemon with Thief. So, oh well. It's not very effective, but yeah, look at that. We stole his black belt, so now we can put that on one of our Pokemon and get better fighting type damage. So perfect. So we can give that to Baby Mama since she has Brick Break. And then, did I give it to you too? No, I, I thought I gave it to someone else. We can at least give it to Baby Mama, but I want to get more than one. I'm, I'm going to try to get all, I'm, I'm going to try to get all the three that I can get myself here because it'd be pretty good for, it'd be pretty good for, in case I decide to teach fighting moves to other Pokemon. So, that's my goal there. Simon, you got your level. Perfect. And you're doing great with those 138, almost 140 special attack and speed. Okay, so let's switch out to... Obviously not Baby Mama here, but Terry... You will be more than happy to pick up the slack here. I don't want to give Superstar and Simon all the levels. Alright, feel free to knock this guy out with Aerial Ace. In one hit, please. That'd be fantastic. Not quite, but okay. I'll deal with it. Seismic Toss... Easy enough to deal with. And goodbye, sir. Fantastic. Wah! If you say so, Wario. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get the double money from that, but I think the extra item that we get out of it is totally worth it. So yeah, there we go. We got another black... We got a black belt. Awesome. Let's see, Superstar, you're back on the action, because I don't think this next guy is a... Yeah, this guy is not a cool trainer, so we don't have to worry about it. Pokemon and I, Pokemon and I we make wonderful music together. Oh, look, it's you, with the, the whip and the, the lollipop. I don't know why they have a lollipop, I really don't, but whatever. Rhyhorn, at level 43, you could have evolved this poor dude into a... Ride Dawn by now, but oh well. N not that much experience, but okay. You are in perfect harmony. Yeah, we got 3,400 for winning. Awesome. I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use that PP Max on Superstar here, even though it's probably not gonna heal up his point power. There you go. That should put us up to, I think, let's see, it gives us three per, so 24. And I think we have a couple max elixirs and whatnot, or just regular elixirs. Yeah, we have regular elixirs. Oh, we have a max ether. That would actually be probably our best bet right there. This way I don't have to go heal him. Oh no, it, it actually did heal up some of the point power. Okay, cool. So I'm not going to worry about the ethers until we actually need them there. Do you know the identity of your gym leader? I do know the identity of your gym leader. I'm still not worthy. Uh, you keep telling yourself that, bud. You'll need power to keep up with our gym leader. Okay. That shouldn't be that bad. The truly talented one with style. Well, I don't really have style. I just have pure power. Sorry. I didn't... Okay, I was about to say, I didn't switch out to... Uh, I thought I was still on Simon for some reason, but no, we're good. All right, and you got five Pokemon. I'm assuming they're all going to be in the 37 range, since you don't seem to... A lot of trainers don't seem to have a lot of variety in their levels, so... Oh, well. Needle Queen. Oh, that's actually not too shabby. Let's see. We'll stay in. Actually, I could probably... I could probably switch over to... 
to Rocky and use Magnitude since Poison is weak to ground. Yeah, we can do that, I guess. If, if he sends out another Nito, we'll do that just for shits and giggles. Need Arena. So, yeah, you're pure poison right there. So, yeah, let's switch over to Rocky and ground it up a little bit. Magnitude 10. Perfect. Oh, and you actually do have some variety in your levels. Nice. Because the rest were... The other two were 37, I believe, and you're 39, so you actually are leveling up a little bit. Cool. Uh, yes, let's switch out from Rocky here because Marowak will probably use his ground type moves and they'll be super effective on Rocky. So, not terribly great to keep him in. So, back to Superstar. And also, Superstar will probably get a level out of this. Yeah, I think she's. I think Superstar is close enough to get a level here. Okay, just barely. 43. Nice even twos across the board, except for HP. I'll take it. And Rhyhorn. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch out to Rocky again, because again, he'll be weak to ground. And it should work out pretty good for us. Except Magnitude 4 is very weak. Oh well. Yeah, Magnitude 4... Not terribly strong at all. Magnitude 10, on the other hand, was great. And we're still faster than you, even after a scary face. Rhyhorn does have pretty good defense, though, so that's why, even with the higher magnitude, we're not doing that much damage. Uh, take down, that's not going to do very much damage to me or you, bud. Yeah, at all. And he pops the Hyper Potion. Yeah, some of the some of the trainers in here do have potions to use on their Pokemon. Hopefully, they don't get too happy with that, but we'll see. And there we go. You are dead, sir. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. I lost my grip. And yeah, we get a. A little bit of money was better than the three hundred dollars we had at the start of the last episode for some reason. Okay, so you are going to be another fighting trainer, so I want to switch out to Simon in there. I gotta go around. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Hiya. He didn't say that part. I just added it for you know special effects. Okay, so this guy has three black belts, but. Unfortunately, we can't get him from... Luckily, we can still get more black belts if you need them from the trainers on Kindle Road. Because they all seem to have it, somehow. I just didn't realize it earlier, otherwise I would have stolen it from them earlier. Vital throw. Ow. Yeah, it's not very effective. It just does half my health. Oh, well. I suppose if it was more effective, it would do all my health, but fair enough, I suppose. A chop. Okay, let's switch over to Terry here. And I'll probably switch out to Superstar for the last one just to get the double money here. Not Ancient Power. I meant to do the Aerial Ace, but okay, whatever. Yeah, it's not very effective. Oh, well. On the plus side, you're going to die now. I don't have to worry about you surviving with a third of your red HP. My choke. Yeah, let's switch over to Superstar here. Who's not taking very much damage. Mainly because he is outspeeding everything and killing everything in one turn of Psychic, so it works out pretty good for me. Or Surf, actually. Goodbye. Aya. Okay, I guess they don't give out that much money in the first place. The Pokemon League, you don't get cocky. 
Uh, I beat you. Calm down, dude. The leader will scold me for losing this way. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't care. I mean, he has, he's been gone for a while, so... Maybe he just doesn't care. But yeah, these little panels right here, they do what you think. They twirl you forward. Oh. Well, we can get to the, we can get to the gym leader real easy. Huh. I thought, you had to actually, I thought you actually had to work to get to this guy, but I guess not. Okay, I still want to fight the rest of the trainers here, so... Let's go ahead and switch over to Superstar here. And we need to heal up just a little bit, so let's do that real fast. We have so many fresh waters, we can just spam these right now. Even if they don't do as much healing as I need, they're great for topping off here. So we've already taken care of you guys. Over here is just way back from the gym leader, it looks like. And over here, well, I guess we could skip this guy if we wanted to, but I don't really want to. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Oh, it's another tamer, huh? Okay, let's see how it goes, bud. Two of them, huh? Arbok. So there goes my attack. Not that Superstar really cares about that, but whatever. And Psychic. Eventually I'm going to have to level up my Ekans into an Arbok, but eh. We'll do that later, I guess. Taurus. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and switch over to Baby Mama, who I probably should have given the Black Belt to to get the extra power, but I forgot. I, I forgot there was any normal type Pokemon in here, actually. Oh, well. And there goes my attack anyways, you bastard. Uh, you know what? Actually, Rock Smash has a chance to lower the defense of the Pokemon, so this would actually work out pretty well for us. Yeah. Let's do one or two of those, get another defense buff loss. Swagger, yeah, it raises the opponent's attack, but also confuses them, so it works out pretty good for... What's the word I'm looking for? The, the opponent hurting himself. Hopefully we get out of the Confuse here and do our damage, because that'd be great. Yeah, the more attack power you have, the more damage you do to yourself. The more damage you do to yourself. So let's hope that we don't... Uh... Yeah, Taurus is pretty powerful, but I did want to I did want to use Kangaskhan instead, just for eh, novelty's sake. All the rest of our team is overpowered. We might as well have one that's slightly less overpowered. There you go. Brick break. With a defense down, an attack down, and then several attack ups. Yeah, goodbye, Taurus. That worked out pretty good for us. Youch, Whiplash. I'm sorry they're cool, cool. You didn't stand a chance. You're not as cool if you don't have lightning powers, but whatever. Okay, while we're here, yeah, let's go ahead and give you the black belt so I don't forget. Oh, I was about to say, why don't I have two of them? Because you still have your other one. Okay, cool. Yeah, and there is our final ability to steal a black belt from this gym. So let's do that, shall we? Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Is it? I mean, I know there's like a billion different martial arts, so I'm just... maybe there's one that's better than karate, specifically, but, you know, worse than other stuff? I don't know. Level 43 Machoke. That's pretty powerful, actually. Luckily, Simon is slightly stronger, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And there's Foresight. Not that that's actually going to do anything. You wasted your turn, and now you die. Goodbye. You guys have very verbal, like, little screams whenever you guys die. Kind of cool, actually. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch Superstar back to the lead here. Freddy and Jim was close for a long time, but now our leader is back. 
Yes, he is. And he's about to, well, not survive. Ooh, he got five. Nice. Feel free to send out something besides a ground type, so that way other team members can get their time in the shunt time in the sun here. It would actually work out pretty well for me. Goodbye. Sand slash again. Well, at least you have variety, huh? Goodbye. Alright. Feel free to send out your next sand slash, please. Right horn. Slightly different. Not much, but, you know, slightly. I'll take it. Yeah, you're really gonna, we're going to get a level before the boss. Ooh, need to reno. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and switch out to... Rocky here. Let him get some magnitude. This way you get a nice level out of it. Awesome. Double kick that does decent damage, but with our hard defense, with our high defense, it's not going to do enough, unfortunately. Sorry, bud. Magnitude seven. That should be enough to KO you. I'm hoping. Goodbye. I just realized none of these guys seem to have gravelers or golems. They all have right horns. Ooh, that's a nice level up right there. Needle King. Yeah, we'll stay out for this. Uh, no, 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 I want to stay out for this. This is the first time we've seen a Needle King in in battle, I do believe. But he's poison, poison ground, so pretty cool typing. But he's definitely still weak to magnitude, especially if it's a nine. Yeah. Goodbye. Perfect. And Needle King faints. That was pretty nice. Samuel, thank you. I appreciate your your fighting style there. I was beaten? Uh, yes, badly. So you can go on to the Pokemon League only by, only by defeating our gym leader. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I gotta get to your gym leader first. If my Pokemon were as good as a karate as I was, uh, I'm pretty sure your Pokemon are decent enough. It's just, well, they're not good against Psychic Blast to the face. Sorry. Alright, so we gotta head this way. And there we go. We are ready. We got all the trainers. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and let Baby Mama do the first round here, just so it's not pure superstar surfing the, the team to death here. You know, give it a little variety. There we go. Fresh water on Simon, even though he only needs less than a potion. And Rocky, you get some too. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. 10 HP. So yeah, we're not going to let Superstar do all the work in this fight. She will come out. Or, I don't know why I keep calling her she, but whatever. <coughs> But yeah, Baby Mama will be the start of the end here. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Well, one of the greater trainers, I guess. The Elite Four is still more powerful than you. And he's got five Pokemon to deal with. So yeah, we've got, we've got our work cut out for us here. And he starts off with Rhyhorn, level 45. Uh, let's see, he should be reasonably weak to Rock Smash and then Brick Break, so let's do that. Actually, I think Rock, now that I'm thinking about it, I think uh, Rock Blast, or Rock Break, always lowers the defense. It's just really weak with 20 base power. In later games, it does get a power boost, that's nice, but here it's just primarily good for the defense lowering. Scary face, that's fine. But I think by now we can go ahead and 
brick break you, so let's see how this goes. Perfect. 1300 experience. Not bad, not bad. And you're about to use Needle Queen. So yeah, let's go ahead and switch out to... Let's go ahead and switch out to... Rocky here. And we're gonna magnitude you to death there, sir. Or, I'm sorry, madam. For some reason I thought it said uh, Needle King, but no, this is Needle Queen. Wrong one. And you got Earthquake as well, so that's gonna hurt. Okay, that really hurt, actually. Uh, magnitude, feel free to be powerful enough to kill this thing, because we might not. And Needle Queen has good defenses, and we didn't survive. Okay. Luckily, he's gonna use his Hyper Potion. Nice. Yeah, whenever gym leaders have potions and one of their Pokemon gets to the red, they'll pretty much always use their potion right away. Uh, feel free to feel free to use double kick instead of earthquake here. No, no such luck. I was hoping. Oh well. Uh, let's go over on to Superstar then. I was gonna send out Hot Dog and have him dig against her, but if she uses Earthquake when Hot Dog is underground uh, with, with Dig, it'll actually do double damage. So that's kind of dangerous. And that's a great level up. Doug Trio. No, we're gonna keep Superstar out here because, well. We don't really have any other moves to use against Doug Trio besides Surf, really. Oh well, that's a shame. And yeah, Doug Trio, not terribly strong. Fast, but not terribly strong. Needle King. Okay, I'm gonna try my hot dog strategy here. But if he pops an earthquake, we're pretty much dead on arrival, so we'll see how it goes. Let's see. Yeah, let's try dig. If he earthquakes, so we're dead. Yep, we're dead. Okay, fair enough. That's a shame. I tried. I failed. Uh, in that case, Simon, I'm gonna let you do the honors here. Uh, none of Giovanni's Pokemon actually have any held items, so we don't have to worry about that, so that's great. And you died. That was also really great. And Rhyhorn, I do believe it's his final Pokemon, so let's go ahead and... Unfortunately, Terry doesn't have any ground-type moves, does he? He does not. Okay. But actually, Steel Wing. Hey, let's, let's, let's see how well Steel Wing actually does against this guy. Despite the fact that Rhyhorn has rock moves that'll be super effective against Terry here. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't... Yeah, it's level 50. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have a... Evolved Rhyhorn, you know, a Rhydon, which would be very powerful. Scary face. Okay, you're just going to lower our speed. He actually does have Rock Blast to do damage to us, but... He seems to be not bothering for some reason. And we missed. Okay, just lower our speed. Sure, that's fine. But... Actually, Rock Blast might just do neutral damage to Terry, since it would be super effective against the flying and normal against, or reduced against the rock. And we got a critical hit. Perfect. That worked out great for us. Beautiful. And we defeated later Giovanni. Ha! Ah, that was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Hey, at least he's not a sore loser. That's great. And I don't know why, but the ball that he's throwing up in the air, it looks like a Master Ball. I don't know if he actually has ac I don't know if he actually has access to a Master Ball, or if that's just the way the sprite looks, but it really does look like a Master Ball, since Master Balls are purple. We got 10,000 for winning. Nice. So, pretty good chunk of change. The Earthquake... The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. 
And we get TM-26. Nice. TM-26 contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And yeah, he just disappears after the uh, fight here. He's got to go train somewhere. We don't ever see him again. I don't think he shows up in too many other games. Like, I don't know if he does, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I think he might. He, he's kind of a plot point in the next games, the gold and silver. But I don't think he actually shows up that much. Uh... Okay, no, he, the next time he actually shows up is like, uh, let's see, as like a story, is in like the seventh generation, the seventh generation of games. So, quite some time later. Uh, some of the other games that have the ability to rebattle like various gym leaders throughout the, no, I guess he does show up in. And uh, gold and silver, just not as. No, never mind. He shows up in the remakes of gold and silver, which is the next games. Let's see here. And then, yeah, he shows up in some of the other games that have the ability to rebattle gym leaders from like all the regions. Uh, let's see. But the next time he shows up, like story-wise, is in the seventh generation. Okay, cool. We'll be away. Giovanni was the gym leader of Viridian. Yes, he was. All right, so we have ourselves a shiny new earthquake TM. Let's go ahead and put that to use. Hundred power, hundred accuracy, ten point power. And if you're in a double battle, it strikes every, it strikes all the Pokemon except for the user. So if you use it with a flying type, it works out really good. Uh, we could give it to, we could give it to Rocky. That would be a pretty good choice. We could give it to Baby Mama. That would give her some more type coverage. Or we could give it to Terry. I think we're gonna give it to Terry. And we're gonna go ahead and delete Ancient Power. Yeah, it's decent, and we occasionally get the stat up, but I'd rather just have the pure power of Earthquake, because that's just really nice. So yeah, now Terry has much more coverage. Uh, we could give it, we could have given it, we could have given the Earthquake TM to Rocky, but he will naturally learn Earthquake later, later on. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, now let's see here. Let's see with the. Earthquake versus Magnitude, uh, they both have their advantages. Uh, Earthquake will always have the steady power, whereas Magnitude does have the ability to be um, more powerful occasionally, but it's random. So let's see here. Magnitude, Magnitude has a chance of being 110 power or 150 power. But for the 110 power, it's only a 10% chance. And for the 150% power, it's only a 5% chance. So, yeah, it's just... Yeah, because magnitude 4 is the lowest, magnitude 10 is the highest. And then from order of power, which we probably should have shown a while ago, uh, magnitude 4 is 10 power, 5% chance to activate. Magnitude 5 is 30 power, 10% chance. Magnitude 6 is 50 power, 20% chance. Magnitude 7 is 70, 70 power, 30% chance. 8 is 90, 20% chance. 9 is 110, 10% chance. And 10 is 150, 5% chance. So, realistically speaking, you should get 7 the most. But it's not always the case. But yeah, uh, Golem will actually learn Earthquake on his own at level 45. So he's only... A couple levels away from it himself. So that's why I'm not going to waste the TM on him. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it this far in red. Or in fire red. But if I do, I'm, I might give the Earthquake... Trade over the Earthquake TM and give it to Baby Mama. But I'm not sure. 
Eh. She's mostly fine the way it is, I think, though. Yeah, reasonable, okay. I'm reasonably happy with my movesets for the moment, despite uh, Hot Dog needing Flamethrower and Superstar needing another move. Yeah, mostly good. Okay, there we go. We took on the Viridian Gym Leader, Giovanni. We've got our final gym badge. Next up, we head to the final dungeon of the game to eventually take on the final bosses of the game. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.